Johnny Misto, Boy Wizard. Wow, that sure was a movie. Okay, here are the noteworthy things about Johnny Misto. It's a 1997 young adult film released under Full Moon Entertainment and starring a few recognizable names. Ian Abercrombie, Russ Tamblin, and a young Amber Tamblin all have roles in this, though you probably won't find much worth watching. It's directed by Jeff Burr, most well known for directing Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, who worked with Full Moon previously on Puppet Master 4 and 5. But who cares about those? You know who was in Texas Chainsaw 3! That's right, Jennifer Banco, aka the little girl from Friday the 13th Part 7. Johnny Misto centers around, well, Johnny Misto, a young boy who wants to become a magician, but he's not very good at it. He's got a friend whose joke is that he's fat. Yuck yuck. They visit Johnny's hero, Blackmore, an aging magician whose time in the spotlight has long since fallen. I really wish the movie had been about him. His character was a lot more interesting than anyone else. It could have had a Fright Night-esque vibe, where the aging magician has to use real magic to save the day. The actor works with what he's given, but it's not much. So he gives Johnny an old ring someone sent him, and it turns out the ring is actually magical. Johnny accidentally makes his sister disappear, and in order to get her back, he must travel in time to the original owner of the ring, Merlin himself. A magical quest through time! Unfortunately, you're gonna have to sit through half an hour of unfunny kid magician stuff before they even attempt to travel back in time. And the time travel stuff is peppered throughout with segments of his friend, disguised as a sister, making up excuses to their stern maid as to why Johnny isn't home yet. Johnny fights an evil wizard guy via lens flares and saves the day. I can't focus on anything when this guy is talking because his scar makeup split around his eyebrows and it keeps opening and closing. And like, I don't know what they use to make those scars, but that's not what scars look like, guys. As for Merlin, you know, Ian Abercrombie, you didn't have to accept every role handed to you. I'm just saying. Anyway, Johnny Misto's release is astoundingly lazy. This is the menu screen. Hold back your gasps at the lack of effort. It looks like I photoshopped that together in five minutes. You could have just had an autoplay, guys. It's not like there are any special features. The description on the back gets important plot details wrong and spells Misto incorrectly twice. How do you do that? It's right underneath the title. The name's right there. At best, I'd call Johnny Misto watchable. It's disappointing that most of Full Moon's kitty features tend to be so middle of the road. I can't say I hate them, but they leave absolutely no lasting impression on me. However, Johnny Misto is at least interesting to watch if you're a Full Moon fan. It was another Romanian co-production, much like Teen Sorcery, and filmed in Bucharest as well, on the same locations as subspecies. Like, literally, the same locations. This castle? It's Radu's castle. Damn it, Merlin! Get out of my castle! Can't the ghoul crush his brother's bones in peace around here? The child actors are pretty good, all things considered, so I can't really blame their performances for this movie's downfall. It's just a lackluster script to begin with. Nothing has any real weight, and the effects are terrible and mostly lens flares. Any characterization is flatly written or not properly conveyed, most noticeably with their maid. She's supposed to be really mean, but... I guess you'll have to take their word for it. However, the previously mentioned sets do give the film a more expensive look, and it's not a bad movie per se, it's just not really a good one either. 